Dirk from Loki's Reverie here. Um, it's Friday night, October the 23rd, which means I have one week left uh, for Halloween. Uh, things are still a mess, I'm still running behind schedule, but I thought I had the time to make one more prop. Now, I showed a crank ghost before. Uh, didn't go into big detail about how to do that, but I made a variation of one here for the exit. I'm going to grab a camera, which is kind of cool for you because you don't have to look at me. Um, and you can see sweeping darkness. Alright, as you can kind of see, I have the start of the facade. What you're looking at here is actually where the trip treaters are going to come through. They're going to come through here and see uh, Arnold and Fred will be here. Here's will be another display. We'll have a display here, a display here, and a display here. Um, and you can see yeah, there's uh, there's Jenkins, there's Roger, and here, and you can see I've got the light on it. I just made a variation of a crank ghost. Ghost. Good job. Crank ghost. Okay, this area here um, that you can kind of see out there is going to be the exit. So the whole point of this is so that when the kids are walking down. This little crank goes, does a downwards peak, and then lifts back up. I'll get my light here. So you can get a better view of what he does. And as trick treaters walk out through the exit, he's going to do a little hoop downward and pop. There we go. Now it's going to be kind of hard to see in the dark, but here I've got fishing line that goes up to this pulley here. And that's what the whole thing rests on. Now, just a little bit further back up in the roof of my facade here, I've got another pulley. The string runs through that and goes down to the back here where I have a uh, rotisserie motor. Now these rotisserie motors are kind of cheap. They are only about uh, 12 or so dollars on eBay. The nice thing about them is they're cheap and they have nice slow RPMs. The bad part about it is, is they're pretty weak. Um, I had to play around with the arm a little bit and angle it out so that the string didn't uh, wrap around and that's pretty much it right there this is basically the same exact thing as a crank ghost except it's just lifting a very, very lightweight head. The head is a uh, a mask from uh, Walmart, you know. And a Dollar Tree tarp and a Dollar Tree fish netting. Overall, this effect ran, let's see, four bucks for the pulleys, eh, a little bit less than 30 bucks for the whole thing. But most of it I actually had lying around. And that's counting the motor. And there we have it. Wish us luck. We have eight days left to Halloween. And happy Halloween from Loki's Reverie. And here it is with an added strobe light. This is a green one. I've got the strobe light on low. 